Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to dive into the energies of May 2021. We're going to look at the collective energy for May. Uh, May is a universal one energy. So we're going to dive into that, take a closer look at those energies that we may feel collectively And then I'm going to break the energy down for your particular life path number, and that will be labeled um, in the notes and on the thumbnail. So I hope that makes sense. I know a few people were confused on April's uh, forecast, but basically, again, we're just going to start the the podcast off by looking at the collective energies uh, for the, the universal energy, and then we're going to break down your own life path number. Okay, so May 2021 is a 10-1 universal energy. So ultimately, it's a one universal energy. And so what that means is the collective energy of May is that of new starts, fortune, luck, and a turn for the better. (laughs) So this is a great time to express authentic, innovative ideas in a way that allows you to sort of take the reins and take the lead within your own life. You know, do you want a new job? Do you want a new relationship? Is there a new project or experience that you want to have? This is the energy that supports you in the initiation. So go for it. It may not unfold exactly as you plan because there's always sort of a level of surrender involved in life, as we know, but it will bring you exactly what you need for this phase of your journey. So you just need to say yes and get started. So there may be instances this month where you find yourself standing alone, sort of required to make personal decisions. This can feel challenging at times, But it's in this solitude that you'll discover things about yourself and your journey that you, you know, that were previously hidden. So this is a wonderful energy for self-discovery and for standing on your own two feet. This is going to be a time where you could see great rewards surface for efforts you've already expended. Things that felt challenging in the past sort of shift and things begin to calm down enough for you to see more clearly and to gain the confidence needed in order to make those bold or bold new starts that have been calling to you. So you may find that you receive some much needed clarity at this time around a circumstance where there may have been some conflict previously. This clarity will allow you to deal with the situation in a much more elevated way with a deeper understanding. And so that will allow you to move forward much more freely once things are settled. So this is an energy of initiation and change. So if there are areas within your life where a fresh new outlook is needed or a new start is beckoning, this is the month to make your move. Embrace this one energy for all that it has to offer. Okay, life path number five. So I pulled an animal spirit card for you all to see what the overall energy for the month may bring for you. And you've got whale spirit, which is such beautiful energy. And whale's message is trust the great mystery. So I just get this feeling that this month, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for you to sort of surrender to the unknown. There's times in our lives where things just become unclear and we don't have the level of control that we might want and when those times happen it's best to go with the flow and surrender as much as possible and to understand that there is some level of mystery where we're not meant to know every single thing we're not meant to be in complete control so I do feel like you're going to have some opportunities this month to experience that. And it's kind of like you'll know when you're in it because the more that you try to control the situation or the more that you try to cling to it, the more uncomfortable or frustrating it becomes. So it's kind of like when you see yourself hitting that wall or you see yourself in that conflict, then that's your cue to release and surrender and just allow things to unfold the way that they're meant to without that sort of need to 
know every single little detail, know how every little thing is going to unfold. Um, and yeah, just trust. Trust is going to be a big one for you all this month, I think. And sometimes that can be challenging because as humans, we want to have control over every situation and we just don't. So uh, I think this is going to be a good experience for fives to sort of go with the flow as much as possible and release and surrender as much as possible. Okay. So I sort of see that coming in pretty strongly at the very beginning of the month. I broke the energy down into four weeks. And the first week I see this opportunity for sort of a new adventure for you all, which five energy usually loves adventure. So that's not a bad thing. But you know, we we're human and not knowing what the future holds can be intimidating for anyone. And I feel like whatever this is, this new opportunity, this new path, this new journey has a high level of uncertainty or ambiguity. And so you may be struggling with um, sort of some unsuredness onto whether or not you should move forward with whatever this is. And the message is, yes, you're safe to move forward with whatever this is because it's leading you to something great. It's leading you to much more self-assuredness and to something very safe and solid and secure, which is beautiful energy for fives. Um, so yeah, I think I see it as an opportunity to learn a lot about yourself. So again, I feel like this this new opportunity or new path is unfolding for you. And there's just this uncertainty to it where you can't see everything. You're not meant to. Again, you're meant to trust the great mystery. And that can be causing you some uh, anxiety, I guess, or bringing some anxiety about. But the message is just trust yourself and trust the universe and go for it, move forward. Follow this path and see where it takes you because I feel like where it's leading you, you're going to learn so much about yourself that you're going to use in this next adventure, in this next um, chapter. So I just see it as this opportunity to really level up emotionally, physically, spiritually, all of those things, but you have to say yes to it. And so I feel like right now you might be at a little bit of a crossroads as to whether to say yes to this opportunity because of the uncertainty. And I think that the message is clear that the next steps are fully illuminated. So just continue to take the steps as they unfold and trust the great mystery, trust the universe, okay? You are definitely supported in this. And again, what you will find out about yourself and what you'll learn about yourself as you move on this new adventure um, will serve you in this next chapter, okay? <clears throat> Then in the second week, it's interesting, I'm seeing some kind of like anxiety around resources, around career, job, purpose, something like that. Um, and really the message that I'm getting is that it's all in your head. So it's kind of like you're creating something into something much bigger than it actually is. So it's kind of like you may be anticipating something or dreading something that is not a reality that hasn't happened or that may not even happen. And so you're creating the story in your head and giving yourself a lot more anxiety about it than is necessary. So if there's something that is keeping you up at night or you're constantly thinking about it and it's giving you a lot of anxiety, but it's not actually real, like it hasn't actually happened, then this is an opportunity for you to deconstruct that and to take a closer look at what you're actually working with so that you can face it and so that you can move through it and overcome it. Um, but I just get this sense like, and it does feel that it's like about money or resources, or it could be about a job or something like that. <clears throat> but like the reality is not as intense or terrifying as the stories you're creating in your head about whatever this is. So it's just a call to take a closer look at those those thought processes, those, those mind constructs, and deconstruct them, okay, so that you can face the demon, so that you can face whatever it is that you are creating in your head and just know that you're supported and that the reality is more than likely much less intimidating than the stories you're creating in your head, okay? So it's just to kind of like take a closer look at the reality, come back to the present, look at the current situation, because that's the only place that you can overcome it, right? That's the only place that you can meet it head on and tackle it. So, 
just pay attention to what you're telling yourself, where you're allowing your mind to go, and um, see if it's if it might be you might be creating something bigger than it is. Okay, you might be creating some monster that doesn't really exist. Is really the energy that I'm getting this second week. <clears throat> Then as we move into the third week, we have this energy of like, kind of, um, it's weird. It's like, it's kind of like uh, emotional maturity is what's kind of coming in. So it's kind of like, I'm seeing you sort of caught up emotionally in something and really sort of obsessed with it or hyper-focused on it, where it's really taking up a lot of your energy, a lot of your emotions. And the message is, is to kind of get it together, okay? Like, like shift your focus if you can, find a way. Now, I'm not telling you to, you know, disregard emotions that come up for you. Obviously, we're, you know, we are emotional beings. We're meant to feel the emotions and move through them and honor them and transmute them. But sometimes we can get sort of so caught up in them that we, we fall into victim mode and you know, it's okay to like fall in there and stay for a minute because sometimes we just need to. Sometimes we need that release. But the the toxicity comes in when we stay there, when we are there for a prolonged period of time. And I'm just getting the sense that there may be some piece, some aspect of your life where you may be falling into that. And the call is just to find your way out, whether that's getting help from somebody external or finding a way to change your mindset, but to shift your focus onto from the negative to more of the self-serving, um, higher octave energy. So it's just about like getting your emotions in check and being in control of your emotions as opposed to allowing your emotions to be in control of you. So there may be the situation where it's like, maybe it's something where it's like you need to pause before you react or respond to something. And that could even be to yourself, right? Um, but I'm just getting this feeling of like, you have an opportunity at this time to get your emotions in check, not avoid them, right? We want to feel our emotions, but we don't want them to control us. And I just get this feeling like this third week, there's an opportunity here where something could be emotionally challenging, where you are really focused on it, or you feel like the world is happening to you type thing. And sometimes circumstances do happen to us. That's no joke. <laughs> but it's just about what we do with that energy and how long we choose to stay there. And I feel like right now you have a choice. You can continue to sort of stay in this misery or you can choose to pivot and take a different approach. And if you need to get, to get support in order to do that, then that's highly supported at this time. But I just see this opportunity of you to recognize your own strength and the power you have to shift your focus and in turn shift your experience, okay? So interesting energies there. Then we move into the fourth week of May and this is really an energy of like, again, a new opportunity for a new adventure, for a new experience, but you really having to dive deep within yourself to follow your intuition, to follow your inner core, to go after what it is that you want while also partnering with the universe and trusting the great mystery, right? So it's like <clears throat> the the energy at the end of the month is very ethereal. It's very spiritual. So it's again, it's like you have an opportunity for a clean slate to create something beautiful and positive and wonderful um, and partner with source on this. But you have to connect with yourself and you have to connect with spirit and trust. There's this energy. There's always this element in May, I feel like for you all, where there's going to be a lot about trusting what you can't see, like trusting the unknown, which can be very, very difficult for humans in general. So, so it's not that it's going to necessarily be easy energy to work through, but it's going to be really powerful and empowering energy to work through. So I see like if it's kind of like if you can find your balance and follow your intuition and trust the universe that you're going to have an opportunity at the end of the month for a new start in something, a new um, beginning, 
this and really embrace the one energy of May to help you um, as you as you begin this new start. So really beautiful energy. But again, it comes back to that not trying to control every little piece, being comfortable enough with the unknown to where it doesn't derail you um, and trusting the great mystery. So beautiful energy, a lot of potential this month for a lot of forward momentum. Again, holistically, so spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, if you embrace it, we always have the choice of how we're going to approach the energy, how we're going to work with the energy, how we're going to, uh, you know, approach and work with the experience. But I feel like you're very, very supported this month to make great strides through the uncertainty. So by just by trusting the universe and trusting your soul to take you where you need to be next. So beautiful energies this month. If you find yourself falling into uh, sort of a canyon of emotion at all this month, then that's your call to, again, honor the emotion, feel it, work through it, but try to find your way out of it however you need to do that. Because I do see an opportunity here for you to kind of get stuck in that. And that can prolong your forward momentum. So it's kind of like, it's again, it's what you do with that energy. So, but the potential is there for you to be very, very supported in that experience so that you can move through that sort of quickly, I think. So I hope that May is a beautiful month for you all fives. I'm sure that it will be. Um, yeah, and just trust the great mystery. And I would say too, if you've never looked up the spiritual meaning of whale, or you could look up like the Native American um, meaning of whale, I would suggest doing that because whale energy is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful energy to surround yourself with. So check that out if you haven't. You could just do a quick search online and check out what whale sort of embodies spiritually. It's so beautiful. So to know that that is your guide this month um, is empowering in itself. So I hope it's a great May, everyone. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.